Hello. Welcome back to Miss Bell's classroom. Today in class, we're going to learn about pie graphs and line plots. So, first we're going to talk about pie graphs. And okay, so we're going to make a pie graph with um, the students' hair colors in our class. So this will always have a circle for our pie graph and we're going to click data on our hair colors so we have students in here with red brown One student with red hair. I see one, two, three, four, five students with brown hair. One, two, three, four, five, five. Let me recount that. One, two, three, four students with black hair. And one, two students with blonde hair. So I know that one plus five is six, plus four more is ten, plus two more is twelve. And um, I'm just gonna kind of make pieces proportionate to each hair color. So red is going to be the smallest. So I'm going to draw kind of a small piece to represent one. And I'm going to draw an arrow to show that this is red. Okay. Then brown has the most. So I'm going to do kind of one, two, three, four, five. Color all of that green. I'm going to label this brown hair. Black has four. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. I'm going to color those in. Then I'm going to label this black, draw a little arrow, and blonde, use the green again, blonde has two, so if you see here, the brown takes up the most space because the brown has brown hair is the most and then black and then blonde and red so pie charts are a great way to just kind of visually see the numbers and what has more and what has less and kind of compare if it was in percentages this is how much it would take up okay We're going to make a pie graph together, but first I need you to think about what is your favorite season do you like? So we'll label our data collection, favorite season, 
and so I'm gonna ask you, do you like spring? Summer? your hand if you like spring the best. One, two, three. Three there. Raise your hand if you like summer the best. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tallies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Raise your hand if you like winter the best. Just one. And raise your hand if you like fall the best. One, two. Okay, so here is our data. Now we're going to transfer this over to a pie graph. So I'm going to make a circle the best that I can and I'm going to try my best to make this proportionate. So if I were to split this into 12s, I might think that one of them might be this size. It's not perfect, but we'll say that this is one of the spring, two of the spring pieces, three of the spring pieces. And then we'll label this with spring. Okay. How much does summer have? Mm -hmm. Six. So I'm going to do the same thing. Here's one, two, three, four, five, color in these pieces here. We'll label this summer. Okay. Then we have, let's make this a little bit so we can make sure that represents our actual graph. Okay, then we have one for winter. Right, winter. And we have, I'm gonna add a little bit more because it would make more sense. Want our spring and our and our fall to look exactly the same, and then last we have two falls. So we'll label that fall. So we can use the pie graph to see that. Summer is liked the most, then spring, then fall, and winter. So it's just an easy visual to see what is liked the most. Any questions so far about pie graphs? Okay, raise your hand if you think you would like to do another pie graph. No? Okay. So the next type of graph that we're going to look at is something called a line plot. 
plot and the line plot is just a way to show information kind of like a pie chart um, but so you're gonna want to take the same steps when you're creating a line plot you're going to want to create a chart and collect your data and then you'll transfer it to your line plot so I'm gonna make a line plot of your eye colors okay so I'm going to collect data on your eye colors. So in here, we have blue eyes. We have green, maybe. Brown. And Okay, so if we look at this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to raise your hand if you have blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes, or hazel eyes. Okay, so raise your hand if you have blue eyes. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to do my tallies. One, two, three, four. And write up four. Raise your hand if you have green eyes. Okay, so zero. Raise your hand if you have brown eyes. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, Six. One, two, three, four. Oops, five, six. And raise your hand if you have hazel eyes. One, two. One, two. Okay, so in order to make a line plot, first you're going to start by drawing a line. Okay. And then you always label. Your line plot, so I might say students eye colors. Okay, and I know that there are blue, green, brown. And we can put hazel over here. The border doesn't matter. Okay, so there are four blues. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Zero green. So I'm just going to leave it. Each X represents a student. And many times line plots are used actually with numbers down here. And you would say your least number to your greatest number. Um, and then brown, one, two, three, four, five, six, and hazel, one, two. So you can see that the brown has the most, green has the least. Any questions? Okay. with numbers. So I just wanted to kind of show you an example of an easier one. Um, typically with that example you might use a bar graph, but so now what I'm going to ask you, we're going to do a survey and I want to know the number of pets each student has. So if you have zero One, two, three, 
or four plus that, or four or more. Okay, so my line plot is going to go along with this. I'm going to put my title here. It's going to do number of pets. And I'm going to spread these out. Zero, one, two, three, and four plus. Okay. So raise your hand if you have zero pets. One, two, three, four. Four students have zero. Raise your hand if you have one pet. One, two, three. Raise your hand if you have two pets. One, two. Raise your hand if you have three pets. One. And raise your hand if you have four pets or more. One, two. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put X's for the number of students that have zero pets. So I see here that four students have zero pets. So I'm going to three, four X's. I see that three students have one pet. So one, two, three, and I want to try to line up my X's the best that I can so I can easily tell that zero is the most common number here right now so far. Two, the number of students who have two pets is two, one, two. The number of students with one pet, or sorry, the number of students with three pets is one. And the number of students with four or more is two. Okay, so what is the most common number of pets in our classroom right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be zero. What is the least common number of pets in our classroom? Mm -hmm. Good, yeah, it's three. Because three only has one. What number of pets is the same in our classroom? Mm -hmm. So, one and... It's not one, uh -huh. two, and four or more. Good. How many more students have zero pets than two pets? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it would be one, two more students have zero pets than two pets. Any questions on this so far? Okay. Right. Thank you for participating in today's lesson. You all did an awesome job. I hope that you learned a little bit more about graphs, and goodbye! <laughs>